Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am revamping an old pumpkin topiary that I made eight years ago. It got a little faded. A few years ago I decided to put it out by my garage doors and my garage doors faced south in our previous home and the top pumpkin got really faded. It has seen some better days. I'm gonna be pulling all of this greenery out and it's gonna get I'm just going to be painting it. But I do have a picture to show you what it looked like when I first made it. Eight years ago, this is what it looked like. I did like it back then, just not sure about the green anymore, but I did like the green back then. So now I'm painting it. The first pumpkin on the bottom is just going to be black and white, and I also painted the urn too, because it was pretty faded. And as you can see, I got a few pieces where the hot glue came off because these are styrofoam. But that's okay, no big deal. The middle pumpkin is black and it's going to get some polka dots on it. Now I'm just using the ends of a couple of brushes and I'm just going to do white and orange polka dots on it. Now it would be so much easier if I had some vinyl polka dots and it would even be more easier if I could hold the pumpkin. It's not the easiest thing to do this way. But I think it will do for now because I'm probably going to be revamping these again next year. I'm just trying to do something really quick to get on my front porch since I'm a little behind on getting my front porch decorated because we had the house painted last week. So here's how they look. I think it looks okay. Not too bad. Now, the top pumpkin. Now, I do have the stem for this one. It fell off. It's going to get hot glued on again. Top pumpkin is going orange and the stems are going to go black. Now that I have the pumpkins painted orange, I am going to be doing just some little black striping in the ridges. Just using a really small paint brush. I'm just going to take some black paint, do this as carefully as possible. And, you know, not, not the easiest thing to do. It'd be much better if I could hold the pumpkin. I'm afraid that if I took these apart, I'm going to pull too much of it off, as you saw from some of the leaves that were hot glued on. So, just going to work with it the way it is. And this is definitely not anything perfect this way. Probably could use like a paint pen or even a Sharpie would work. But I'm just using what I have sitting here right now with me since I have the black paint. So now I'll do one more here and then I will finish it off and get the other one done. And of course i got to hot glue that stem on. So here's how it looks. I don't think it looks too bad. You know, I could put some leaves and berries in it, but I'm going to leave it plain because I do plan on redoing this. I have it outside here, and you know, since I don't have any pictures or anything to show you how I made this, I got the urn at Home Depot, and it was a beige color, and I just spray painted it black, and of course I put, you know, a couple more coats on here, just regular household paint on it. And the pumpkins are styrofoam, all from Hobby Lobby. And this is how I did it on the inside. I'm just going to show you. It's, it was just a scrap piece of wood. It was more squared shape. And this is just your closet rod. Um, back when we lived in that house, we redid the closet. And this is the rod that was in there. And I saved it. You just attach the rod with a screw to the block of wood. And then you're going to cut your rod to the height. It fit perfectly up into the pumpkin. I glued the wood to the bottom, and I also added rocks in here for weight. And then I just hot glued in spots of the pumpkin here. Now the middle pumpkin fit really well on here. I just hot glued it. I didn't have to put anything else in it. But the top pumpkin had a funky shape to it. So I'm going to turn this here. And you, you can see the skewer right there. 
I used just some skewers that you use for shish kebabs and I just cut it to what length I wanted, stuck it in there, and then you just hot glue in the spots where it touches the other pumpkin and that is it. Let's see how it looks with the other one by the front door. So this is how my front porch is looking right now. I have my lanterns back on, but they do need to be cleaned. Got my bench over here and my table and my milk can. And of course, this is my new doormat that says Hello Pumpkin. My Hello one is underneath it. I like how it kind of frames it. It looks great with my toe beers. Now, the wreath. I made this wreath this year for the door, but since I did the toe beers this way, I am going to make a new wreath and it's gonna be Mackenzie Childs inspired because I think that will look perfect with the topiaries. I had to order something that I want to use on my wreath, so that's supposed to come tomorrow. And if it does, I will have a video up on Friday for the DIY of my wreath that's going to coordinate with the topiaries. And then I'm going to be working on getting the rest of the front porch done so I can have a video of the front porch on Monday. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.